Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the rooster's nest. My name is the rooster, and I'm in my nest. And this is the show where a little drag king reads to you from this really beautiful book called The Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. Because there is an insight for your heart and your soul and your mind and your whole self for every single day of the year. So every single day of the year. Hello there, Ms. Gwyn. I am here to read to you. It's really quite lovely. I love reading from this book and I love sharing this with you all. So here we are in the rooster's nest. And then after I read that book, I pull a card from the nature of infinite love and gratitude deck. Thank you for the taps, my dear. Uh, this deck of 52 cards, I pull one card and then it's an affirmation for our heart and soul and mind and whole self. And that's the show. And I often like to do a little bit of a check-in. So today my check-in is that I am off to go see my sister and her little baby boys and her baby boy husband, who's a sweetheart too. Um, I can't wait to hang out with my sister. I love her so freaking much. Um, yeah, it's going to be great, but I have to take the bus because my car, she's not too bad, but I don't want to take her on this long trip up the mountain pass with snow and all that shit when I've got, when I've got to keep her like safe and, and got to get her maintenance to go on this long ass road trip I'm going on, uh, in a couple weeks, a week, really soon. Anyways, yes, going on a bus to Kelowna today. And before I do that, I'm dropping Ramona off at the shop so that she can get worked on while I am away. Just recently found out I'm going to have to spend like $3,000 to get her up to shape, but it's worth it because I'm going to be living in her basically. Hi, Lee. Hi, King Khan. Yes, that is my check-in. I had a very productive day yesterday. I did a million things. As you can see, I got my septum hoop that I needed. I got my helix re-pierced because it had fallen out a long time ago. And I got a proper ball for my tongue. Uh, what else did I do? I forgot to buy freaking um, brow pencil, but I managed to do it with this little tiny brown one that I have that I had to throw away now because it's too small. What else did I do? Uh, I got new tires on Ramona. That cost me a lot as well, but these guys were great, and so they were worth it. I love them, and they were nice. And they they were honest about why they needed to put these new tires on. So, good day. Yeah, lots done. So, that was my check-in. I'm good. I'm great. Everything is wonderful in the world. And we're about to read from the Book of Awakening. Here we go. January 15th says, how does it taste? How does it taste? The more spacious and larger our fundamental nature, the more bearable the pains in living. Whoa. Whoa, you guys. That is so cool. It's telling you about not living in a box and about getting to know all the crazy aspects of your being because all of us are a million things at once. Hey, Taya Don. It says the more spacious and larger our fundamental nature. So not living in a box. You're just, you're letting yourself be huge. The more bearable the pains of living. That was Wayne Muller. I get it. It hurts to get out of the box. It hurts to freaking break through and start feeling all these feelings you've not felt for a long time. But once you're able to embrace the vastness and wonder that is living, the more bearable the pains. That is that is the rooster's interpretation. Hello, Vital and Drew. Welcome to my show. My name is the rooster. It says an aging Hindu master grew tired of his apprentice complaining, and so one morning sent him for some salt. When the apprentice returned, the master instructed the unhappy young man to put a handful of salt in a glass of water and then drink it. How does it taste? The master asked. Bitter, spat the apprentice. 
The master chuckled and then asked the young man to take the same handful of salt and put it in the lake. The two walked in silence to the nearby lake, and once the apprentice swirled his handful of salt in the water, the old man said, now drink from the lake. As the water dripped down the young man's chin, the master asked, how does it taste? Fresh, remarked the apprentice. Do you taste the salt? asked the master. No, said the young man. At this, the master sat beside this serious young man who so reminded him of himself and took his hands, offering, the pain of life is pure salt, no more, no less. The amount of pain in life remains the same, exactly the same, but the amount of bitterness we taste depends on the container we put the pain in. You guys, freaking soak that in. So when you are in pain, the only thing you can do is to enlarge your sense of things. Stop being a glass. Become a motherfucking lake. Yeah, Nepo. Yeah. He doesn't say motherfucking. I said that. Just become a lake. Hi, FH, BG, FH, and Gabby Richard. Hello, Archervert. Thank you very much, Archerverted. I like that. That's awesome. Uh, tap, tap, tap. Thank you very much for the taps. The meditation now says, oh no, center yourself and focus on a pain that is with you. <laughs> okay. It's hard when I'm like buoyant and I don't want to feel the pain, but we'll do it anyways. Rather than trying to eliminate the pain, try to breathe through it. Thanks. Yeah. Um, this, uh, this guy was out for a long time and I just had this tiny little one holding the hole open and I finally got a hoop for it again. And then this guy had fallen out and grown through months ago and I just got it re-pierced yesterday. Thank you. Rather than trying to eliminate the pain, try to breathe through it. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. Don't you can't get rid of the pain. You have to breathe through it. Just breathe. There's a light at each end of this tunnel. You're just as far in as you'll ever be out. So just keep going. With each breath, notice your efforts to wrap around the pain. With each out breath, try to enlarge your sense of self. Archiverted, I read from this book every morning. I think you've you've been here before, so you know that, but I just thought I would say. And Renee Smith, my name's the Rooster. Thank you. It's the lighting, trust me. <laughs> That's why I look so good. But thank you very much. I do enjoy my my stash and my beard. And I appreciate that you like it as well. With each out breath, try to enlarge your sense of self and let the pain float within the depth of all we'll ever know. So don't so you so you focus on the pain, you see it there, you feel it fully. With each in breath, notice how you wrap your awareness around. You wrap your awareness around the pain. And then with each out breath, try to enlarge your sense of self. And let the pain float within the depth of all we'll ever know. Guys, it's really good advice. I hope you're soaking this in. That was our message from January 15th, the Book of Awakening, today. And now it is time for our card, The Nature of Infinite Love and Gratitude. Ooh, gratitude. By Dr. Darren R. Weissman. Here we go. What's it going to be today? What's it going to be today? Uh, what do we got today? What's it going to be today? Uh, what do we got today? Ooh, what's it going to be today? Day. What you got for us today? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, what's gonna be? 
next day. Hey, William, good for you. <laughs> Me too. I am queer. I don't even really know what it means to be gay anymore because, yeah, I am very queer. That's all I know. <laughs> What's it gonna be today? Okay, I'm gonna pull a card right now. What's it gonna be? This one. You guys, I always get this one. <laughs> I always get it. It's great. It's a good one. What do you think? I don't know. Does it matter? Um, I mean, it's a very fair question. Yes, that's what I told myself I was going to start answering with these now. Be like, when somebody asks, are you a boy or a girl? Just be like, yes. <laughs> the fact that you have to ask means it doesn't really matter. If you like me, you like me. Sacred. This moment is sacred. I am now ready willing and able to embrace my inner child all is well all is well you guys embrace that inner child that never got to be who they were who they were who they are sacred oldest cat again we got sacred this moment is sacred i am now ready willing and able to embrace my inner child all as well. I live currently in outside of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, but that is going to change very soon. Hello, Dave. I will be a traveler. And then the idea is that I'm going to settle in Toronto because I don't want to live in Vancouver anymore. I want to live in a, a city. Um, and I have a job offer in Toronto. So it's like, okay, that sounds like that's where I'm going. Hey, Dave. How's it going? Yes. Uh, and that was our card for today. Thanks, everybody, for being here. My name is The Rooster. I'm here every morning, 9 a.m. PST, to pull a card for us, an affirmation, and to read from the Book of Awakening. And to, you know, be queer and chat with you. But I am about to go now because I've got lots to do. Uh, William, thanks for the chats. Uh, oldest cat, thanks for being here. Everybody, thanks for being here. Remember, do I speak Arabic? My dear, do you think I would speak Arabic? Look how white I am. I'm sorry, but no, I, I don't. It's a fair question. It is a fair question. But, like, I'm just a stupid white person, okay? <laughs> um, if anything, I know a little bit of French, but that's it. I do not speak Arabic. But thank you for asking. How do you do this? Like that. Remember, you can never fail if you never give up. So if you really, if you're a white person and you really want to speak Arabic, you can do it. Trust me. I know you can. Number two, everyone is someone. Oh, thanks so much for the bells. Thank you. Yay. You're so nice to me. <laughs> Ten bells. Aw, Archerverted, thank you. I appreciate you. I super appreciate gifts. I appreciate your presence. Good for you, William. Got you, baby. Yeah. Whoosh. See you next time, 9 a.m. PST every morning. Two, everyone is someone, right? So who are you? You are special. And that's our journey. Know ourselves fully. Number three, if you ever feel down, all you have to do is say cock a doodle doo, and the rooster will be with you. Bye bye. Bye, little baby. <laughs> bye, Archiverted. Bye, everybody. Thanks for being here. 9 a.m. PST every day. <laughs>